Eventually, what we'll have to have is certificates of who's a recovered person, who's a vaccinated person, because you don't want people moving around the world where you'll have some countries that won't have it under control. Sadly, you don't want to completely block off the ability for those you know, people to go there and come back and move around. Hello, everyone. This is Jess with BTN. I want to be very clear. I am not a conspiracy theorist. I do, however, deal in factual information. And what I will be highlighting in this video are places you can go to do further research on the topic. A lot of people are talking about this clip. I just want to put this out there to try to get people's thoughts uh, about it. As you all know, we are all uh, on quarantine. Uh, here in the United States, and not just in the United States, really throughout the world because of what has been declared as the coronavirus pandemic. And most people are actually very supportive of practicing social distancing, making sure we follow uh, with what the CDC and our government officials have prescribed in terms of us staying in our homes and making sure we uh, only go out for essential errands like to the grocery store or to the banks or if you have a job that is deemed an essential service providing job. Most of us are very much in agreement and doing as best we can to do our part in preserving the public health of everyone. The more time you have at home, the more time you have to really think about what's going on in our society. And one of the clips that is really making its way around the internet is this clip of Bill Gates, who has been very vocal during this period in time in terms of what he feels is the proper solution. Now, I wanna be clear that Bill Gates is not a medical professional. Uh, he is a tech guy, a very successful billionaire tech guy. And so it's very interesting to see that he's at the forefront of leading some of the discussions around the world in terms of what he believes or he feels is the solution. And the interesting thing about that is that he's almost paraded as if he is a medical expert, which, you know, no one says he's a medical expert, but he's sort of paraded as if he is. And I always thought that Melinda Gates was the medical professional in the Gates family, because in the medical community, Bill and Melinda Gates have a lot of weight because they've done a number of philanthropic work and have contributed tons of money to further medical causes or medical research. Um, but these are both computer people. Like these folks are in heavy into computer science economics. I mean, Bill's a tech guy. So it's just very interesting that this whole corona virus pandemic, you see Bill Gates at the forefront of conversations and discussions at the highest of levels. Eventually, what we'll have to have is certificates of who's a recovered person, who's a vaccinated person, because you don't want people moving around the world where you'll have some countries that won't have it under control. Sadly, you don't want to completely block off the ability for those you know, people to go there and come back and move around. There are two websites I want to point you in the direction of. One is an old article uh, that comes from siliconerepublic.com. It's an article that goes all the way back to 2017. And the article asks, how big a task is giving everyone on earth a digital identity, okay? And I'm just gonna read a, a couple paragraphs out of it. It starts by saying, millions of people around the world are invisible with no form of identity, but blockchain and other technologies could help solve this. 
There are more than a billion people across the globe who have no form of identity, and this is a massive problem. Imagine trying to flee a war-torn land and making it to another country, only to be told that there was no record of you existing, so giving you asylum would be difficult if not impossible, or perhaps your child needs to receive a life-saving vaccine, but the charities that hold records on children in the country don't have any record of their birth. Check the description box for a link to the articles, and also check the description box for a link to ID2020. It's a real website that talks about bringing digital identity to life. What Bill Gates is saying in this clip is that it makes sense to require people who want to travel internationally to have documentation that they have either recovered from coronavirus or they've been vaccinated for coronavirus. Now, there is no secret in the United States that there are a lot of people who do not believe in getting vaccines for themselves or for their children. That's no secret. That's becoming more and more of the mindset. But we have to ask the question, is the coronavirus pandemic an effort to combine requiring people to get vaccines in order to give people a digital ID that will be required for travel, whether it's domestic travel or international travel? Those are valid questions that we have to ask. Take a closer look at ID2020.org. It's basically an alliance of governments, NGOs, and the private sector, particularly the UN High Commissioners for Refugees, to use technology to give 1.1 billion people on the planet a digital identity. I'm going to leave that with you and let that marinate. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Check the description box if you'd like to know how to follow us on any of our social media platforms. And thank you guys so much for listening.